Hi, and welcome to the Falcon's Cry podcast channel, the podcast created for current and potential students of Daytona State College. I am your host, Kirby, and as an actively engaged student with a 3.9 GPA, I am here to unveil your path to success. Join us as we explore the Falcon's Cry. Hi, and welcome to the Falcon's Cry podcast channel. Today, we'll be interviewing the trio staff, Mr. Robert Jacobs and Miss Angela Gonzalez. Welcome to the podcast channel, y'all. Thank you, Kirby. It's a pleasure to be here. Can you briefly introduce yourself and your role here at Daytona State College? Yes, thank you. First off, just thank you for the opportunity um, to be able to tell about our program. Um, My name is Robert Jacobs. I'm the Associate Director of the TRIO Student Support Services Program. And my goal is to provide leadership in the implementation of the plan of operations for the TRIO SSS grant. With the assistance of my strong and amazing team, we offer a variety of academic resources to students aiding in their successes and leading to the achievement of our grant's objectives. Our goal is to help students stay in college, graduate with an associate's degree, and transfer on to a bachelor's degree program. And I'm Angela Gonzalez, and thank you, Kirby, for having us. And my role as the education coordinator is to help the students with their Taylor Academic Plan when they come into the TRIO program. Mm -hmm. The Taylor Academic Plan gives them an opportunity to view what classes they can take every semester and hopefully they have that visual as to when the approximate date is for their graduation, which provides to our students uh, lots of help. Yes, yes. I know um, as a TRIO student myself, I'm very grateful. So just wondering, but what does TRIO represent for you? For me personally, I find it very rewarding. I myself I'm a first generation student and when I was in college, I was unaware of TRIO. I wish I had been, it would have provided to me more structure and understanding as to what classes to pursue and why, which are my gen eds, which are my electives, which classes should be reflecting my bachelor's program. The, like I mentioned before that, that Taylor academic plan or Falcon flight plan as we also call it, is a wonderful piece of information for everybody. So my role is to help the students have that at hand so that they'll be better understanding as to what their next semester is going to look like and balance out their work, their life, their family life. Um, So TRIO has a special place in my heart. Um, I've worked in the program for five years now and the people in TRIO have really become a, a second family to me. Uh, The work we do is very rewarding um, as we generally get to work with our students from the time they join our program until they graduate. And and like Angela said, um, it's it's a very rewarding position here on the the campus. Um, It's full circle, so we get to help the students from day one explore their academic goals, uh, career goals, look at different careers, look at salaries and, and job outlooks and things along those lines, but then also help them transition to the university um, and in doing so, you know, taking them on awesome trips, cultural trips, campus tours to explore opportunities. I know, Kirby, you just went on a, a trip with us to USF. And yes. I know speaking with you after the trip, you were like, man, I might have found my new university. So um, it's, it's a game changer working with TRIO. And we get to know them, get to know them on a more personal basis. Absolutely. Meet their families during the, the pandemic when we did all the virtual appointments. That's right. when we we were able to meet their, their partners, their children, their pets. Mm-hmm. It's true is a wonderful program. I, I must say I wish I had known about TRIO when I was in college. As a student of TRIO, like, I've just had so many opportunities going to the aquarium, going to the University of North Florida, going to UCF, going to USF. I didn't even have a car. I wouldn't have been able to ever have done that without TRIO. For our listeners who haven't heard of TRIO, can you all briefly explain what TRIO is? Sure. The TRIO word is not an acronym. Uh, Rather, TRIO was given its name after the first three programs were implemented in the 1960s as part of the Higher Education Act. TRIO itself is a program that's Department of Ed grant funded 
and, are tar and we're targeted to serve and assist low-income individuals, first-generation college students, and individuals with disabilities. We've been here at the Tony State College since the 1980s, and we're housed right here in the Baker Academic Support Center, which is Building 500. Wonderful. Is there anything you would like to add, Ms. Angela? Sure. Part of the TRIO program, um, there are several programs within TRIO. It is not just the Upward Bound Talent Search or Student Support Services. Nationally, there are eight programs uh, funded by the U.S. Department of Education, and each program has its own distinct goal, which is different from the other programs. Some are community-based organizations, while others aim to provide grants or funds for higher education. As you know, ours here in the SSS program, we are grant-funded, and that's the money that we use to, to create scholarships for our TRIO students, to take them on culture-rich trips, the university campus tours, perhaps a dinner, a Broadway show. And some of the other programs um, nationally are the Education Opportunity Center, the Ronald E. McNair Post-Baccalaureate Achievement, our Student Support Services, the Talent Search, which is also here at Daytona State College, Training Program for our Federal Trail Program staff, Upper Bound, Upper Bound Math Signs, and Veterans Upper Bound. Sounds like there's a lot of opportunities within TRIO. What does it take to qualify for TRIO? To qualify for TRIO, you just have to be one of the following. First generation, meaning neither of your parents hold a bachelor's degree, or you're a Pell recipient, or you have documented physical or learning disability. Now let's say both of your parents have a bachelor's degree, but you do have documented physical learning disability, you are eligible for the program. Or both of your parents have a bachelor's degree, but you are Pell eligible, you're definitely eligible for the TRIO program. And all you have to do is apply for the program online. You must be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident. You have hold a GED or high school diploma and pursuing an associate's degree. If the student is wanting to join TRIO but does not have a GED or high school diploma, we would link them up with the correct resource on campus to be able to achieve that first goal and the step of joining our program. What kind of services are offered with the TRIO Student Support Services Program? We offer an array of services, resources for our students. That's what TRIO is all about. Our mission is their success and to help them get to their end goals. In doing so, we have academic coaching and mentoring that we do um, amongst ourselves, Angela, myself, the other coordinator. Uh, tutoring, tutoring is huge. We have professional tutors, Joey, Russell, Ariel, uh, Jose. We have a wonderful tutor staff. Um, Angela actually coordinates that the tutors here on campus and linking them up with the appropriate tutor, which helps them with their classes, right? So when we do design their schedules and help them register for their classes in the beginning of the semester, right away we try to link them up with the tutor to build that schedule into their academic schedule. Some other resources, we have transfer advising. So in, in addition to the academic advising and financial aid counseling, we, we do transfer advising with our students. So exploring different colleges. You mentioned UCF. If you wanted to go to UCF, we would look at some of those program requirements for a particular bachelor degree, and then we would make sure that you're taking the right electives before you actually graduate and then transfer on. So when you do transfer, you're right there at, at the junior level. Yes, I'm fortunate enough to be in TRIO, and Miss Angela and I actually just discussed the other day, I do plan on going to UCF, and I would like to pursue a Bachelor of Arts in Digital Media. So some other great resources are our cultural enrichment trips. I know we had mentioned before we take students on campus tours, but that is huge for our, for our program. We have students who have never been outside of Daytona Beach before, so giving them the opportunity to explore outside Volusia County is huge and rewarding not only for the student but for us as well. And we've been able to take students on some Broadway shows as well. Yes. I know. I be feeling fancy when y'all rent out them buses and right. we go on long road trips. <laughs> yes. Like, what? Eating in style and... Right, right. Yeah. And you know, yeah, it's just, it's a wonderful experience being in TRIO. And I really hope to reach some listeners and let them know that there are opportunities Thank you to our listeners today for tuning in to the Falcons Cry podcast channel. To learn more about becoming a student at Daytona State College, please email admissions at daytonastate.edu. Thank you, and I hope you join us on the next episode of the Falcons Cry.